Because so many people will be down your throat telling you what you need to feed, what you have to feed, what you should feed. That will happen. You guys can see over the years how I've documented trying to put weight on him. Hey farm fam, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you that are new, welcome and welcome to today's video. So today's video goes alongside my other educational videos. I have a bunch of videos like this on how to buy a horse, how much horses cost, different things like that. So I'll have those all in a playlist and I'll link those down below if you guys need any more information into my beginners series of having horses. So I get this question a lot in my comments down below asking how I put weight on my horses or how I keep my horses well fed. All those type of comments so I figured it's time to add this video to my beginner series and hopefully if you watch my channel already this can help you if you guys have horses and are looking for something to elevate your feeding routine if your feeding routine works perfectly fine for you don't change a thing I'm not gonna be saying that this can work for every single horse because every single horse is different and some need different things the only thing that I can contest to with this is that I have five horses and this has worked on all of them including a really easy keeper and a super super hard keeper a horse that came into us that needed to put weight on and we were able to put weight on her in a short time um, a kill pen horse that never gets ridden so has no muscle mass that we're contributing to him and this feeding program also works and also my colt who we have had him on this feeding routine as he's grown up so I do have an array of different horses that this has actually worked on so I think if you guys are at your wits end and trying to figure out how to put weight on a horse that this could be a really good video for you if you're new to my channel and found this video because you're trying to find something that's going to work hopefully that this will work for you because Trigger, who's behind me, he is such a hard keeper. I've had him for a very long time, and it has taken us such a long time to get him to where I need him to be, to look good, have actual muscle mass, his skin and coat to look good. I needed a feeding program that was gonna check all those boxes, wasn't gonna cost an arm and a leg, and wasn't gonna be a 10-step process. So we have figured it out, what works for our horses, and like I said, we have an array of them, so I am confident that this could work for your horse. And again, if you're doing something and it's working for your horse, don't change it, because you don't wanna fix something that's not broken. So I'm excited for today's video. If you guys are excited, if you guys need this help, make sure you go into this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, have a chance to my post notification. Shout out, are you guys? Let's get right into today's video. So like I was saying, Trigger is a super hard keeper. And I'm gonna throw in some photos here so that you guys can see over the years how I've documented trying to put weight on him. And we have put him on many different feeds. We actually had him on Seminole Senior Feed, which if you know Seminole, that is a great brand. It's been heavily researched. It's more of an expensive brand, but he was on it for a while and it actually kept weight on him, but it made his coat really dull. So again, like I said, checking those boxes, I wanted a feed that was also going to help their skin and coat because what's good on the inside should exert from the outside in my eyes and make their skin and coat, their hooves, all those things look really good. So that was the one thing with the Seminole feed that wasn't cutting it for us was that it was making his skin and coat really dull and ashy. And now he has a very, bright and shiny coat throughout the year no matter what season it is so we tried seminal that didn't really work out for us so then we moved on to a feed that someone at my feed store suggested and it was a higher fat feed so we thought that that was gonna be it for us and that wasn't doing any changes and at that point we were giving like a full scoop to a scoop and a half every feeding so about three whole scoops a day all right so I'm just gonna grab triggers feed and his is a full scoop. And then we're just gonna do Louie. And Louie also gets a full scoop. And we felt like we were just increasing the feed and nothing was happening. So it wasn't making sense. And then I felt like my horse's diet was becoming more of a grain diet. When I've always known that the majority of a horse's diet should be hay, and I felt like we were increasing the grain a little bit too much without seeing the results. So then I went on the computer, <laughs> did a bunch of research, and we found Purina. Now with Purina, I have always seen it at Tractor Supply at all the other feed stores, never really blinked an eye at it. And honestly, because I thought I really needed a feed that I could only find at like one of my local feed stores, so I thought those would be better feeds. But if I saw it at Tractor Supply, I didn't think it was a really good feed for some reason. I don't know why, that was just in my head what I thought. But I was doing a lot of research and Purina was a really highly researched feed. And I started to look more into it we actually dabbled with a couple of them that have been across the board, really good feeds for people, and that's the Omeline um, strategy, and then um, the one that we're on, which is Purina Senior. So I should mention that my other feeds that I was on, like Seminole, was Seminole Senior. So I personally really like to have my horses on a senior feed because 
any life stage really can be on a senior feed, but it really is more digestible because if you think about it, they're making a feed for a horse that's a senior, so they need to make sure that it's more digestible, more palatable, so I figure if it's good for an older horse, why wouldn't it be good for a younger horse? Now, my horses aren't super young. Obviously, Cash and June are five, but the other three are mid-age. Um, they're definitely nowhere near seniors or old horses, but I, across the board, really like senior feeds because I think there's really good ingredients in them because if a senior can have them, they must be pretty good. And of course, the digestion. So that's when we found Purina Senior. And with Purina Senior, like I said, you guys, when I was on the past feed, which was safe performance, and I told you we were about at a scoop to a scoop and a half of feeding. Now with Purina Senior, we are really just about at a half a scoop of feeding. Maybe Trigger, he'll get like three quarters of a scoop, but hardly any more than that ever, and that's per feeding. We really like Purina, and we see a really good result in the senior feed. So starting off, Right here, this is about how much I give all my horses, a little bit give or take, so this is um, above the shelf on the scoop, so a little bit over a half a scoop. Almost all my horses get about just this same amount. Sometimes I'll give June a little bit more, just I'm still trying to put weight on her, um, and then also Cash because he's the horse that I ride mostly. But then Trigger, Louie, and Blaze, they pretty much get a half a scoop because all three of them hold weight really well right now. So we've drastically decrease the grain by getting a higher quality grain that had everything that was needed in it for my horses. So Purina Senior Feed has been a feed that has been remarkable for us. So I highly suggest looking into a Purina Feed if your feed just isn't cutting it because like I said, those other options, the Omeline and um, the Strategy, I know tons of people on them all seeing really great results, all super consistent results as well. I just personally like the Purina Senior. While I think maybe Strategy would also work for us, I'm just gonna go ahead and stick. Like I said, don't fix what's not broken. We have cracked it and this is what's working for us. So I wanna talk supplements with you guys because throughout the journey of having horses, I've never really been a huge supplement person. We did use one supplement. Um, it was something that we just added to the feed. It wasn't necessarily look like a supplement, but it was a feed adder and it was by Neutrina and it was basically a top line balancer because we were so badly trying to chase that top line because Trigger just didn't look good. His top line was really bad and he just looked skinny overall. So we tried that, it didn't do anything. We were really just trying to rack our brains on how to get his nutrition right and figure it out and that's when we found Aquinity. So this is a supplement. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you guys will know that I have used Aquinity for many years. I'm gonna play back some footage of my old feeding routines where you guys see that I have used Aquinity for a really long time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add this supplement to just Trigger and Blaze's feed and then shake it. And then now for supplements, I don't use many supplements, but I do use this supplement called Aquinity. And this I just give them to help with muscle mass, joint support, just it's so many different things on this um, faster recovery, improve hoof growth, allergy reduction. I don't know, I just really like this stuff. It's really consistent in how it works. So I'm not really huge on supplements, so we don't add a bunch of stuff, but I do love to add our Aquinity. This is pretty much the only supplement that we have given. Throughout our horse's feeding routine that we've been really consistent about, um, we really like this product. It works really well. So I just go ahead and I give all the horses just a scoop of this. In the beginning, we only gave the two horses that we were riding the most, which was Trigger and Cash, but overall, we love this stuff, so all the horses get this. And then in my most recent feeding routine, you guys have been seeing that I've been giving Cash this is the oil right here, but for the longest time we've been using the powder. So I actually have the owner of Aquinity here to explain to you all of the additional benefits that Aquinity can do for you and your horses. So the really unique thing about the Aquinity Horse Excel is it doesn't fit into a specific supplement category. In other words, it's not a quote, joint supplement, hoof supplement, uh, muscle building, recovery, stamina, shiny coat. It actually helps in all of those areas and that's what makes it so unique. Uh, one little tiny scoop um, given daily, it gives the body what it needs to release its own hormones from the pituitary gland and then the body is able to send its own hormones to its own problem areas. So it takes a lot of the guesswork out. And typically what we found within two to three days, horses that have a lot of stress, anxiety, or a bit spooky, we've seen complete demeanor changes, getting into about a week to two weeks, uh, they just feel better under saddle, uh, the recovery, the stamina, better focus. You get into 30 days and people are starting to notice softer, shinier coat, they're filling out, and even people are noticing a little firmer sole depth and possibly hoof growth 
Although when you're getting in with the hooves, it's going to get you know closer to the six week mark. And so the Aquinity Horse XL, highly recommended for every horse at any stage of life, whether it be uh, the brood mares, foals, all the way uh, to senior horses and everything in between. So we have a lot of people that also use it as a preventative as well. So it's a, a really, really amazing product and, and the results uh, pretty well speak for themselves. So we also encourage you to take uh, pictures uh, before you start and then again within 30 days and just so you can compare the images and you'll notice um, some nice changes just in that. So the second product that we have is Equinity Ultimate OEC and we came out with this about a year ago. Uh, we've been on the market with the Horse Excel, that's the amino acid uh, powder, which I should mention the amino acids have no filler, sugar, starches, there's no loading dose. Same thing with this OEC product, there's no filler, sugars, or starches, and there's no loading dose. Um, the reason why we came out with the Ultimate OEC is twofold. One, it works in combination with the amino acids uh, to give those repaired cells some nutrition. And secondly, it serves as a really powerful antioxidant which helps reduce inflammation. And so, uh, with so many products on the market, uh, a lot of people say, well, you know, which product should I choose or which one should I use? I mean, ultimately, both the Aquinity Horse XL and the Ultimate OEC work best together, but if you had to choose just one, then the Horse XL would be the one to go with, because you're going to see results, you know, within days to 30 days for sure, or we'll say the upper 90 percentile of people see changes. Um, a lot of the feedback that we've received with the OEC product, um, horses are doing great on the horse excel, but maybe their horse still has a bit of a cough or they're tying up or maybe don't want to drink while they're being on the road. And so when they add the OEC, that kind of uh, is the missing puzzle piece uh, to all of that. So both of the ultimate OEC and the horse excel are a really great combination for your horses. So since I stand behind this product so much and I love using it, especially as you guys know with Cash's Barrel Racing Journey and adding that oil to his regimen, you guys know that I've been using this for such a long time. So thankfully we were able to partner up with Aquinity and we are going to be doing a giveaway for you guys. So we are picking five people to give away a 30 day supply of Aquinity so that you guys can give it a try, see the benefits and I, I'm absolutely sure that you guys will fall in love with this product as well. So simple, simple rules. All you have to do to enter, it's really simple, is go to their Instagram. It's at Aquinity underscore products. I'll leave it linked in the description down below. Make sure you like their most recent picture and comment down below that you came from my video and we will be picking five winners to win a 30 day supply of Aquinity. I really hope and encourage you guys to join the Instagram giveaway for the Aquinity. I really love this product and I think it can do wonders for your horses for so many different reasons, like John explained. You know, for us, mostly what we've used it for is for weight gain, skin and coat, top line, muscle enhancer, all of those things of what we've used it mostly for, but there's so many other added benefits to it, like John explained. So I really encourage you guys to do that giveaway. If you guys wanna go directly and just go ahead and buy it, all you have to do is go to their website. It's teamaquinity.com. That'll also be in the description down below and right here on the screen. So you guys can go there, it really is a good product. So like I was saying, it has been a product that's been a staple in our feeding routine. And I was so excited that he was able to come on and share this with you guys because we've used it for so long and have been so happy with it. So I do encourage if you guys are looking for something to add those benefits to, get Aquinity, see how it works. They're really big on before and afters. I'm gonna show you guys a bunch of our before and afters. So with Trigger, for years, he's been a hard keeper ever since I've got him. Like you guys know, we struggle throughout the different season changes to keep weight on him and with his coat throughout the years. But now, all throughout the year, doesn't matter the season, he is always looking tip top shape in his weight. He's a really hard keeper. Like I said, we tried the other supplement to build his top line with no prevail, but now he has a beautiful top line. Um, he has muscle mass, and you guys know he hasn't been ridden in a while and he still has that muscle mass. Also his skin and coat, oh my gosh, you guys have been commenting lately how dark he is and how shiny he is. He's really dark because he's been in the stall, but even so, super shiny because of this product. And I like to think that whatever is inside needs to exert outside. So adding this product has been a game changer for Trigger. So that's been a huge plus for us is the weight and the shininess. So like I said, hard keeper. And then for Cash, he's been using this since he was a colt all the way till now. And he has looked so good. And also again with that muscle mass as a colt growing up. You want to make sure that they look really good and bulky so especially with this added i think it's helped tremendously 
And then Louis, who hasn't been ridden in years, you guys, you know that. And he has been able to keep that muscle mass. He doesn't look skinny in all the wrong places. He looks filled out everywhere. And, you know, Blaze, we don't even need to really talk about him because he's such an easy keeper. But it does work perfectly fine on him, so we'll take it. And then June, I think is one of our bigger success stories, actually, is because, you know, we haven't had her for long. You know, in the beginning, she really needed some groceries. We could see her ribs. Her coat was kind of dull. She actually even looks like a completely different, not I shouldn't say completely, but a really different color now just because her coat is so shiny. She's even dappling out and we've put so much good weight on her and not even just like weight to make her look like heavy with like filling her with feed and hay, but also just like muscle mass as well. So those have been our biggest takeaways with this. Like I said, a multitude of horses in my barn use this. A ton of my friends in the horse community use this as well. So I'm convinced and I hope I'm convincing you guys because I believe that it can really help your guys' feeding routine. Next up though, off of supplements, those are the only things I use. I don't use anything else. So, and I've never really have since we started Equinity. Now, moving on is hay. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I've always believed that my horses need a higher hay diet than grain. I always want their hay to outweigh their grain, their forage in general. But if you live in Florida, well at least where I live, our grass is not phenomenal, so sometimes I just don't even like to say forage. I like to just say hay because they're getting all their nutrients from their hay mostly, and then when they graze, um, they'll also be eating at that point. But like I said, we have decreased the amount of grain because we have a good grain that is really well for us. So now with our hay, we have really, really, really picked up the intake of their hay because I want my horses to be eating hay 24 seven. So we try our best to make sure that that's happening. As you guys know, our horses are in the stall half the time and out to pasture half the time, but I will say they're mostly out to pasture because my horses realistically are only in their stall from about eight to 10 hours out of a 24 hour day. So with that being said, I need to make sure that they're getting hay all the time. And again, like what hay are we using? So we used to feed a TNA and I'm not knocking TNA because again, like I said, if it works for your horse, keep them on it, but it just was not cutting it for our horses. So I think my horses needed more alfalfa than they needed Timothy. And typically in TNA, I see more Timothy than I see alfalfa anyways. Um, and then, so we were like, we need to maybe get off the TNA. You guys saw we were doing TNA for a really long time. So then I gradually increased them and I put them on ONA and ONA is higher quality than the TNA. The O is actually a really favorable K for me. I will often give my horses that as well. I'll switch it up a little bit sometimes because you guys know we always give them alfalfa, which we'll get into. But sometimes I'll give them a little bit of ONA just to kind of like help their digestive tract reset a little bit. That's just my take on it. But now my golden shiny star would be my alfalfa. Um, since switching to alfalfa, 100% purely alfalfa, we have seen a huge change in them keeping weight all year long as well and we are literally feeding them so much alfalfa, that's why we buy it in bulk. So Trigger, he gets to eat alfalfa all day long. Whenever he's in the stall, he has it 24 seven, cause he is my harder keeper. And then when they go out to pasture, we put out a bunch of flakes for them. We go through about a bale of alfalfa a day between five horses. So that's a really good amount of hay that they're getting. So whether they're in the stall, we have their slow feeder hay nets with two to three, four flakes of hay whichever fits in their hay nets and they're really big hay nets they get those in there and then when they go out to pasture we throw them a bunch of alfalfa and they also will graze all the rest of the time when they are technically finished with their alfalfa so those are my three things that i do to keep weight on my horses is a good feed which i suggest looking to purina if your feed just isn't cutting it not sponsored by purina you guys i just have had really good results on purina and i'm excited about that because it's been so long that we have tried to get my horses to look as good as possible so purina feed check in one of those see if one of those will work for you hay a good quality hay you know i'm not going to recommend alfalfa because i know some horses cannot have alfalfa so i'm just going to say a good quality hay but if your horse can't have alfalfa and you're not feeding them alfalfa maybe give it a try again if they can't, I do not advise you to give your horse alfalfa if they can't have alfalfa because I know some horses cannot have alfalfa. And then thirdly, I can't really recommend many supplements because I'm not a supplement person. I know some folks are, but for me, I like to keep it simple and I like to make sure it works and not just adding fillers. I want them to have a good nutritional diet. So 
That's why I can only recommend Aquinity because that's what we have used and why I really can recommend that product because it isn't just like a filler or supplement like that. It's just pure amino acids. It affects their pituitary gland. And again, with that whole nutrition, it's giving them what their body wants. It's not just filler. So that is our form of supplement that we put in our horse's feed. So that is pretty much how I keep healthy weight on my horses. And I wanna say healthy because it really is a healthy feeding program. We're not putting, like I said, added fillers in there to you know, bulk them up just to look like they have big fat bellies, um, but they are having the proper muscle mass, again, with proper feeding. So that is my take on how to put healthy weight on a horse because I know you guys have been asking and this is a really good thing to put out there to my beginner's guide because when you enter horse world and don't have many resources or even do have many resources because so many people will be down your throat telling you what you need to feed, what you have to feed, what you should feed, that will happen and sometimes it will be really hard to figure out what is good for you and your horse. So these are just my tips to where we have come from because I'm in the same boat as you guys because we have been trying to figure this out for so long and in the past two years we have finally figured out and it's such a stress reliever that I know that my horses have a really healthy and well-balanced diet and are getting all of the nutrition that they need. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys do, if you guys use the same feed regimen that we do or what else you guys use that works for you. Maybe you can help someone else out in the comments down below. If you guys liked today's video, if you guys thought it was helpful, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, have a chance to make post notification shout out. Today's shout out goes to and don't forget to join that giveaway on Instagram for the Equinity. I'll see you in the next one.